June 19th, quarter till 7, 67 degrees in Lima Grove, San Diego, California. And we have blue skies up above. Lots and lots of blue skies. And it is already icky feeling. You know icky where it's hot and mucky and just plain icky. Oh, gotta keep picking the little flower buds off. Vinca's doing nuts. Violas, not Vinca, they're violas. They start with a V. But look at my lemon marigolds. Gotta remember to keep the camera close to my face. My giant sunflowers. I guess they're a giant if you're an itty bitty fairy. Oh dear. Are you trampling down because something walked through you? Or is it so dry that you're dying? And that looks like you're covered with aphids. Oh dear. And there's the flamingo para. But look at my beautiful marigold. My giant marigold. Look at the size of them. Oh, need to fill the feeder. Any new petty pants? Need to come out here and cut off all the grapevine for the chickens. The chick chick chickens. Oh! Here is my waterer. I poked a little hole in the bottom because that one because the liner has totally rotted out, is not holding water. So I just fill that up, it holds two cups, four cups, two scoops of water, and it drips in. Well, it's more like a little run. When I first did it, I had three holes and it poured in and ran straight out the bottom again. Oh dear. Oh no, it's, it's dewy night. Oh, what do we have here? It has been so hot, the strawberries are rotting, and that's all soft and mushy. They're not palatable. Darn. I'm going to have to start picking them before they're ripe enough. That's okay, the chickens like them. I'll put you down here, squish you in, see if I get more strawberry plants. Speaking of more strawberry plants... How's those babies? Look at those babies. Look how well they're growing. There's got to be a good dozen of them there. Can you see all the dewdrops? And we're getting nice long runners of strawberries. Why are you looking funny? Have I overwatered you now? Oh, anything's possible. But look at all the little broad beans. Still haven't cooked any. Can't give you a taste test if I don't cook them. They're in the refrigerator all shriveled up. It's just been too hot to cook. I live out of the freezer now. Dew's dripping off of the Jerusalem artichoke. There's my miserable little carrot. Nothing else is coming up. It's funny. These are either daikon or or white white radish seeds and they never get any bigger than that so you they're real woody and chewy 
So you don't want to grow these for seed consumption. But I will have enough seeds for the next couple of years. This is last year's planted it last fall. Yeah, planted it last fall. So it's almost a full season. I list them. And look, all the dragon flea flop. All the dragon bush flowers are falling off and dying. But I have a nice tall Jerusalem artichoke, which is going to be blooming soon. And someplace over there is a lot of little garlic plants. I think I'm just going to leave them. Let them come back nat naturally next year. Those guys are gone. One flower spike, one shriveled up flower spike. Not going to get any blossoms this year. And the ends of these are pooping out for some reason. It's not too dry. Calendulas. Oh, it's got a problem. Violas are on their way out. They got dry. It's one thing. Violas and pansies, they ha are apparently are very delicate. Because this one dried out and look what happened. Look at all these meters. This one's the better boy. come and trim leaves again that's a volunteer cherry and I've already got oh I'd say a good half a dozen to ten tomatoes off the early girl and they go all the way up and over to here these are all the cherries, but still. Horseradish. But look at those broad beans. Dug up those potatoes. I forgot all about them. And then those are the black Mexican radishes. I just might get some. These are the weird tomatoes. Well, they're not weird tomatoes. It's just that I dropped the whole cell in the bottom of the pot, filled it in with dirt, so there's anywhere from four to six plants in each one of these containers. And those are not bugs. Those are petals off of the celery plant. No fruit yet, but I just did these not too long ago. But I have been picking tomatoes in the hothouse greenhouse. And I think that one's an early girl that I've been picking the tomatoes off of. And here is San Manzano. That's a leaf. There was two tomatoes on the bottom. One disappeared. I picked the other. We got another one here. Oops. I didn't mean to pick you, but I gotcha. And there's some more right there. And I have definitely, definitely killed off the pansy. I would say there's no hope for it anymore. It's done for. But I do have lots and lots of broad beans. I hope they're tasty. The one that I did eat did have some flavor. It, I've never tasted anything like it before, so I cannot make a comparison. Look at the morning glories. Ooh, gonna have some more. And the borage and all the zinnias. All the different kinds of zinnias. Onions are blooming. Oh, I need to go over and check the other onion in the leeks. 
and I am totally surprised the birds haven't eaten all these seeds. Any other time, they would come and eat all these seed pods. But see the difference? This is the black Mexican radish. And this is just your regular red radish, globe radish. And you're dry. My bucket's empty. Been pulling the lettuce because it's trying to bolt. Not a good time to grow lettuce. And here we have our salvia. Lots and lots of salvia. I don't think I'm going to get anything from you. You're putting out lots of buds again, but they're all male. There's a one deformed squash back there. Elephant ear. Catnip. The seeds are actually forming now. That's the onion. This is a leek. So the bees have been doing their thing. And there's a perfect one. Look at that. Perfect ball. And it's really a good size too. So maybe it'll give me better leeks. And the poor nasturtiums are not doing well with all this heat. Well, that is the garden for June 19th. And I still can get through here. Getting harder and harder. Thank you for watching. would have been a perfect fig. Well, I got ants for the first time. But you can see little V's, the birdies were up there eating it. And it's nice and ripe. And no, I'm not going to eat it. Eat the half that doesn't have bird pecks in it. But that's where I like to pick them, where they're soft, they're turning colors, and they're real juicy on the inside. Now it's the one for me, three for the birds, one for me, three for the birds. That's okay. There's a, just a few on the tree. I think I could spare a few to the birds.